I always feel more comfortable when our hood is back in dry dock. Now I've got a couple of decisions to make here. A couple of problems to solve. First of all, uh, I don't think we're going to be using the extra thin. I think we'll be using the uh, CA medium uh, to fasten the chain to wherever it should be fastened. And we'll use as little glue as possible. I think it, here when it's on the, on the uh, waves or whatever you call this thing, uh, I think that it can just lay loose on here, uh, but we've got to be able to figure out how to be able to split a link and get it to fasten onto the clevis so that it looks it looks natural. It doesn't look like it's a link glued onto the end, although at a distance you won't see it anyway. But I would like to see if I can't just split one of these links and have it sort of go around and over the clevis. We'll move in a little closer later. Uh, another another problem is where where it goes down and comes out here. And I realize it's not very good lighting right here, and you can't see it. We'll we'll change that later. Um, can I get the chain, the same chain, to come out here that goes in here, or is it a case of nothing is going to line up? Um, yeah, and then and then where where are the anchors going to hang? I'm not going to have the anchor tucked up tight into the uh, uh, into the hose, hose pipe. I'm going to have it hanging down a little bit. And somebody mentioned how that when the anchor when when the ship would come into port, that they would drop the anchors almost down to the to the water line. And I guess that would uh, facilitate a, a rapid drop in an emergency. <laughs> It'd be like the emergency break. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. So that, that's, that's the plan. I'm not going to have it tucked up into the hose pipe. I'm going to have it hanging down. And I think probably the bottom of the anchor will come just above the boot line. Uh, that sort of makes sense. We'll see how it looks afterwards. Uh, but uh, let's just change position here and, and uh, get our lighting changed so that you can see what's going on over here. Well, I guess you can see I'm making myself a little bit uncomfortable again. I've taken it out of the cradle. The reason being is I was finding it just too hard to be able to angle the camera around so that, you know, the camera had a decent shot and I still was able to get my hands in there. I knew that the cradle was going to be in the way, so I'm just going to be extra careful here. And looking at this shot, I'm realizing I could have had the camera placement better. I'll try and do a better job for the rest of the video. Now, I wish I had paid better attention when I was gluing the uh, deck onto the hull. You know, what, what actually was going on here? Was there, did it look like uh, I could go right through? And I'm going to just use this wire here and see if it looks like it's going to come out. Now, this is actually the first time I'm trying this. You're seeing it. Ah. Okay. You're seeing it with me for the first time, and it looks like it's going to work. Okay. I know some people are going to say, well, uh, why wouldn't it? Well, sometimes these models are not, uh, there we go. Sorry to be getting my, my fingers in the way here. No, I don't want to scratch anything. Sure, that's, that's going to be all right. That's going to be good. Okay, now let's, let's see if we can split the little link on the end there and uh, fasten the shackle onto it. That's the plan. Okay, we'll get our piece of plexiglass moved in here because I need a nice hard surface to cut the chain on. Okay, I guess the idea will be to remove our wire and I do believe that, you know, if I could take that clevis off and loop it through 
one of those uh, one through the link that that would be better then I wouldn't need to cut it except that I can tell just by eyeballing it here that it's it's the clevis is too big um, and like I mentioned I, I could just sort of glue it on the end but then it would might be kind of obvious so I, th I think I could well let's just uh, reposition here and uh, see what we can do Now I already have a little mark on the plexiglass here, so we may as well try and take advantage of that. And if I can keep everything in the field of view here, everybody's going to be happy. I'll we'll just uh, cut this wire here. scratch the black off of the off of the chain. Now let's just uh, okay now you, you can see here that that this is going to just barely fit in that in that space there. In fact it's I got a feeling that when I try to close close the link it's not going to close all the way. Now let's just very carefully here try and cut this right in the middle. Okay, like that. Now if I use two pairs of tweezers Just grab hold of it and pull it apart. Oops, twist it on me. I suppose if I do get it all, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the black all scratched off, I, I can always sort of paint it again because obviously you can see that I, that I actually am. Okay. I'm trying to, trying to spread it here. Get that in there and just grab hold of it now. Okay. Like that. Is that enough, do you think? Let's just, just try it here. I think it is enough. Maybe if I could just get a a different grab with the tweezers here. Like that. Is that better? Let's try this again now. Something like that. Now we get the tweezers out of the way. And squeeze this shut. Oh, it came off. Came off. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe I should have a different pair of tweezers. Maybe my rubber ones would actually be better for this because they wouldn't, uh, when I squeeze it, it wouldn't have a tendency to... Okay. 
I am probably driving all of YouTube crazy right now. Now it's come off completely. Okay, maybe if I did it like this, if I'm gonna see if I could just get a hold of the Okay, whoops, do not ping off on me. I'll use my other tweezers to grab hold of the back of it somehow. I just turn it up. Just grab it just at the back, like that. Now where's that last link here? Don't want to accidentally put it on the wrong one. There it is. Okay, now if I could go like this, now, if I could take the anchor and get it on here, like... My eyes are starting to blur here. Like that. Now, if I could squeeze this shut just, just enough to get it started. Come on. Nothing more annoying than watching somebody do something like this and then they move it out of your out of the uh, frame and you can't see what they're doing. Boy, that's annoying. So I'm going to try not to do that. Did I squeeze it? I think I did just a little bit, didn't I? Um what will happen if I let go of it now? It's going to stay on there. No. Uh, I'm going to have to take a breath there. It appears that we've got it. I held it up off the plexiglass and I was able to sort of manipulate it a little better using a couple of tweezers and I was able to squeeze it together using these rubber tipped ones but there is a problem I'll, I'll put the micro lens back on it and I'll show you what the problem is now the problem is this and I might be worrying for nothing but you can see there where the link is open and uh, if the if the link rotates half a turn then the opening is going to be where the other chain link is and it will slip out but right now I've got this squeezed together as much as I can uh, it, it, it's uh, because the uh, clevis is, is, uh, is so large I just can't get it to squeeze anymore so I'm thinking that maybe what I should be doing about right now is you know, pull it, pull it straight here, and uh, oh, there goes my phone. See what that's about. Here in Winnipeg, uh, as of today, because of this COVID thing, and uh, the seriousness of it is, we have gone, I guess, what you might call code red. And the person at the door was my one designated visitor. And uh, that's the way it goes. You can have one person who's your designated uh, visitor, and uh, that that's it. Uh, as far as I understand, it, it, it always stays the same person. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're code red, although it's kind of weird. Apparently, the kids are still going to school, so I don't know about this. Anyway, uh, that's what that was. It was my one designated visitor. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not... Uh, uh, because I don't talk about it doesn't mean that this COVID thing isn't affecting uh, us here in, in Winnipeg. It is. However, I think what I'm going to do is just put a very minute amount of CA just to help to keep that link from rotating. Now, it may not anyway. I'll put the macro lens back on. We'll just put a little tiny touch on it 
I hope it's not going to go running all over the place and well maybe I'll take another look at it if I, if I can see it closely with the macro lens maybe that link will, won't turn half a turn all it you know if it'll stay the way it is it'll be fine no the the only other thing is that that when it's like this it's uh it, it could pull apart if, if the, the anchor chain got a bit of a yank on it. But I mean, what's going to yank on it? I'm going to uh, take a close look again. I'm hoping I'm not going to regret this. Put a tiny little bit on and let it wick its way around here. Did I even get any on there? I could stop it from swinging. We are going to have to call it quits here for this afternoon. It's well after 3 o'clock. Yeah, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>